Hey everyone, this is Henry, and I've had the chance to play the EA Sports UFC demo a lot. I've also spent time figuring out how the striking works, how the grappling works, how the clinch works, and how the submissions work. So I've played this demo enough to be able to give you guys my honest, sincere assessment of it so far. Now before I start, I don't know if you guys heard, but what you see in the demo is not an exact replica of the game. It's been confirmed that a lot of tuning and bug fixing was done between the time the demo was released and the time the final game was shipped. So we should see some noticeable differences between the demo and the actual game. So my assessment is going to be based completely on the demo. Okay, it's going to be on the demo, not the whole game. It's going to be on the demo because that's what I have in front of me so far. So I'm going to give you guys what I absolutely love about the demo and what I don't. When I first played this demo for the first time, the first thing I was impressed with was how I immediately got a next gen feeling as soon as the demo started. The way the menu is designed is so advanced. The fighter selection screen gives you an idea of what your fighter is good at right off the bat. And the music that plays in the background is so right. It just fits the feel of the menu and that alone gets you excited and gives you an extra boost in excitement as you pick up that controller. We've already talked about this, but the graphics when the fighters are being introduced by Bruce Buffer is a beautiful thing to behold. And get this, if you don't care about all that, if you don't care about the menu at all, the fighter introductions and all that, you can skip it and it gets you into the fight so fast, so fast. It's just amazing. There are no pauses during the cutscenes. When you win a fight, your fighter immediately goes into the celebration and that smooth transition between fights, cutscenes and celebrations and the ability to skip all these extremely quickly makes it easier to remain excited on like past games where it's loading screen after loading screen and by the time the fight starts, you're so exhausted from waiting. The fight mechanics themselves have been extremely improved. There's a massively high reward for being patient and picking your shots. Parrying a strike and countering right after deals a lot of damage. And yet, it's literally impossible to parry spam. And thank God they got rid of those horrible EA MMA hand waving motions as you attempt to parry. The fighters feel very different. The speed of their footwork is noticeably different. Their power is different. With John Jones being the more powerful guy and Alexander being the smoother and easier to strike with. But for someone like me who prefers kicks and elbows to punches, Jones is my guy. But if you're like the type of person that likes to let your hands go a little bit more, if you want to be able to throw loose punches, then Gustafson is definitely your man. So when I'm using John Jones, I feel like a Muay Thai kickboxer. His kicks are tighter and have more snap to it. His knees and elbows are tighter as well, but then his punches feel labored, almost like he's not very comfortable throwing them, unlike Gus, who just lets his hands fly. So when you play as Jones and when you play as Gustafson, you can feel that difference and it adds a lot to the game. The controls in some aspects have been made much more user friendly, like in the stand up department. It's easier to throw complicated flashy strikes in this game than in past games. But when you get to the ground, it's a lot more complicated than in past games. But when you look at the way the ground game is, especially transitions, it's been done properly. It's been done with the fundamentals of grappling in mind. You can't just block all transitions with one control. Now you have to determine which side your opponent is trying to transition to before you can stop them. The ground game has been done in a way that you can't get lucky against a better player. You can't just spin the stick like a wild man and wiggle your way out. And you won't be able to stop a better player from transitioning when he wants and how he wants. And if a better player gets you in mount, you're done. You ain't getting out unless you're on the same level as he is. So far, the computer is not on my level. And when I get the computer to the ground, he does not get up. And that's the way it should be. The submissions have also been changed, and admittedly, it does get ridiculously difficult sometimes. But then again, this game is supposed to be difficult to master, and we can't all expect to master the game in just a few days. Games like these take years of practice to understand and master, and this won't be an exception. 
A better player will submit a lesser player every time. And a lesser player cannot submit a better player in this game and that's the way it should be. So overall, this game has been well built. It follows the basic rules of combat. Be patient, hit and not get hit, wait for your opportunity to land a big shot and when you do, finish your opponent. On the ground, be patient, position and over ground and pound, be methodical, take your time and land those shots. And in the submission, pay attention. Don't make a mistake or you lose it. And don't make a mistake or the submission will get locked in deeper. So this is an overall great, amazing, fun, and very addicting game. But there are also a few things about this demo that I can only hope does not show up in the final product. And if it does show up, I hope we never see it ever again, especially if a new game is made. The fighters feel like themselves when you're controlling them in the demo. But then that gets completely ruined the instant you see Gustafson perform a showtime kick against the cage. Why, EA? Why? Some of these movesets are downright ridiculous. I personally believe that a fighter in a video game should only be able to perform moves that they've actually performed in a real fight. Yes, John Jones probably has the ability to perform a showtime kick. Yeah, John Jones has the ability to jump off the cage and do some crazy things. And yeah, Gustafson could probably do those as well. But I'm sure that over 90% of MMA fighters out there, including heavyweights, can perform these moves. But that doesn't mean they should have them in the game and do them so easily. When it comes to special moves, John's spinning elbow, his axe kick, spinning kick to the body and head, flying knee, side kick to the body, these are moves that yes, John Jones should have because he has performed them in fights. But giving him the showtime kick, a move that should only be exclusive to Anthony Pettis is just ridiculous. Also, my god, don't get me started on the takedowns. My god, the takedowns drive me crazy. I have not yet seen a power double, you know, the double leg where you shoot a double, drive and then dump your opponent, the GSP double leg or the Cain Velasquez or Chil Sonnen double leg. I haven't seen any other single leg takedowns. It's the same old repetitive single leg to side control over and over and over again. And then the so called power takedowns. Jesus Christ, one of them is a Matt Q style takedown and the other one is so bad and ridiculous and over exaggerated, I cringe every time I see it. A WWE style takedown that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And then the fact that it seems that every single fighter will have the same exact takedowns? Come on! So if I pick GSB, a guy who has beautiful, aggressive, explosive double legs where he drives you from one end of the cage to the other, I'm going to be limited to just the same single, same double, uh, weak double leg and the ridiculous power takedowns? I mean, the takedowns in EA MMA and UFC on the Spirit 3 were so much better compared to what we have now. If Gustafson can perform the same exact takedowns as John Jones, then what exactly is the point? I just feel like whoever it is was assigning these moves either has no real knowledge about these fighters or they just don't care and they just want to make a game that looks so flashy and chaotic and crazy and ridiculous to attract the casuals. And that's very disappointing considering the fact that they claimed this game will be as real as it gets. But like I said in the beginning of this video, don't forget that I said this, please. It's been confirmed that the actual game will be different from the demo. So let's hope that some of these moves were just assigned to the fighters to showcase the game and that's it. And for God's sake, if you're watching this video, don't go calling me a hater. Don't do it. I swear to God. Don't just forget about the part where I've said numerous times that this game is the best MMA game ever made. I've said this a million times in a million other videos and I mean it when I say that. But I'm a mixed martial arts fan and I value realism. Not just realistic looking graphics but also realistic movesets that fit depending on the fighter I'm using. So overall, so overall. EA Sports has developed a game that I will be playing religiously for the next few years. The core gameplay mechanics are absolutely brilliant. 
the fighters feel and move like themselves. And apart from the crazy movesets and the disappointing takedowns, this demo has delivered on so many levels. And what it has done for me personally is make me want to play the actual game more than anything else. If you haven't played this demo, I promise you, you're missing out. And as soon as you can, pick it up. It's amazing, it's beautiful, it's crazy, but most importantly, it's extremely fun. And that's what a video game should deliver. But that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments what your likes about the demo are. And also let me know what aspects of the demo were disappointing to you. If it's your first time watching my video and I have not completely tuned you off with this video, subscribe guys and show me love in this video by leaving a like. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Be safe.